seeing it from the other side. What's your take on his ability to, to lead this team through some, this Celtics team through some kind of lean times here? I think he's ready now. I mean, Rondo is mature. Um, he understood what was coming. And I think he's ready before he had me and Kevin to lean on. And now he's the guy. He's the captain. Uh, he's who everybody look, looks to for leadership. And I, and I think he's ready. He's, he's grown, he's matured. Um, he seen what is he seen the bottom. He seen the top, and he got to understand that uh, this is his team to lead through through good and, and, and through bad. And I think he understands that, and uh, he's ready for that 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 role. Well, uh, and he's ready to deal with it. Would it mean a lot to you? Uh, obviously, it would mean a lot to you if you come back one day and it's like that. But do you ever, you know, think about what your legacy? You never. Have any thoughts about what the Celtics fans would think about you 10 years, 15 years down the road? Well, no, well, I should. I'm 27. Um, I got a long career ahead of me, so I don't, I don't think about it. I try to go out every night and play as hard as I can. And, you know, whatever whatever happens, happens. No, I just think uh, as we were here, I think he took notes. You know, last night when we was talking to him, you know, more importantly, I think he stressed setting, setting the tone of being the example, even when he doesn't want to. You know, I always talk to him about being professional. You know, and uh, you know, being a professional, you don't get to pick and choose when you want to do that. And uh, just understand the pedigree of a champion that you don't you don't let losing become something usual. You know, you keep the mentality of, and uh, some are not going to all follow, but most will. But as long as you're the example and you have a voice uh, to just do it by example. And Rondo's ready. I think he's uh, he's very comfortable in his uh, role here. I think he understood the transition once it was happening, and I think he, uh, he's the type of person that has the type mentality with the personality to do just that. It'd be all right. One of the things they talked about after the game was going to dinner with you last night, kind of talking about just you and the roles as the guy here now and that you've taken notes and everything. Could you share anything about anything that they share with you about that position now that you about you being ready? Nothing, nothing in particular. Um, it's what I've been learning from those guys over the past five, six years they've been here. Um, just continue to grow as a person and you know, lead by example. I mean, Rondo is ready to lead. He's leading them right now, uh, moving into the next generation of Celtics. And, uh, you know, I think their future is going to be very bright. You've been here a long time now. You won a title, finals twice, all-star teams. <coughs> the last man standing from the great teams. Do you think it will be accepted by the fans as the next great player, the next great leader, following Pierce and Garnett and Bird and all those guys? Or does it even matter? Um, you know, that's everyone else's opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. Um, but I'm going to go out there every night and play as hard as I can while I'm a subject. And, you know, that's all I can do. It's only that I can control what's how hard I play every night for my team and for myself. Right. Well, what's the biggest challenge, Paul, when you were the captain early on uh, in your, your run as a team captain? <coughs> Uh, just stand patient, I think. You know, uh, when you're you're uh, in the middle of your prime like Rondo is and you're, you're frustrated with the losing, it's about just staying patient, staying with the guys, helping them develop, helping them get better. You know, at times it's, it's going to be frustrating, and you have to understand that, the position you're in. And so, uh, you know, at times things don't always go your way, and you want it to be uh, – you want everything to be better right away. But uh, you understand it's a process. Danny, Danny Angel understands it's a process. And, uh, you know, they have to be on the same page. Uh, your, your lead player, your franchise player, the organization, you know, this constant communication on, on what they want from each other. And, uh, you know, you go from there and you, you build with each other. Paul, John, do you relish the role of a leader on this team? Do you, are you enjoying kind of being the, the, not the veteran you know, guys look up to? Um, you know, I think this year is bigger than most, but the, the past three or four years, you know, me being a fun guy out there on the floor, the extension of the coach. Uh, I've been the leader since I've been here. 
It's going to be weird flashbacks when you see a Celtics team that's, you know, in, in full rebuilding mode and it's going to lose a bunch of games like that. Um, not really. I try, to, I try to forget those days. Because you know, <laughs> those are your trying days, man. Those are the days where, um, you know, you try to forget. But uh, you, you grow from there. You know, I think it, it made me a, a better player uh, physically, mentally. It made me stronger. Uh, you know, you only can learn from this, this process right now. You know, you, you find out uh, what type of players you have when you go through moments uh, like this. Is there, any, is there anything in this season you can relate to your rookie year in that team? Not the same kind of thing. I think Rondo really understands, you know, uh, he, he understands it probably a little more than I did at the time. Uh, you know, when I first got here, I was in rebuild mode, we made the playoffs, and then we went back into rebuild mode, you know, so, and, and same with him. He, he came in, we were rebuilding, we went through a phase where we were winning, now he's back in rebuild mode, but he's still young enough to, to, uh, to see it out to where he, he's going to still be in his prime. I know, I know the soldiers are going to do whatever it takes. They have great owners, uh, great management to get back uh, to that level, that top level again. It's been pointed out to me that you kind of have some similarities with Paul Pierce early, early in his career. There were reports that, you know, he wasn't the easiest guy to deal with, just like they have been with you. And then he kind of grew up and people obviously love him. Uh, do you see any similarities between you and Paul in that way? Me and Rondo share a special bond, you know, so, uh, you know, we'll always be friends. We always have something in common with our championship, our kids, you know, they still hang out together. Um, they hung out for his birthday, actually. <laughs> so, uh, you know, eh, you know, Rondo, he, uh, I respect him and what he's doing moving forward with this franchise, and it'll always be that way.